right, let's go. You know, it's very obvious that the current constitutional amendments would attract the who is who in the political circle in the country. There are about 68 proposed amendment subjects organized by the Joint Senate and House of Reps Committee on the review of the 1999 Constitution. Both state police and restructuring are not included in the 68 proposals. This technically means a snubbing of the 17 southern governors. Elsewhere, we report that terrorists have ad abducted a pastor and seven others during a church service at the Salama Baptist Church at Gidiguri, I hope I got that right, in the Rafi local government area of Niger State. These are indeed times that try men's souls. Uh, Ghani, they continue to try our souls. Well, we've been down this path before. It's not really new. And I will only believe in the constitutional reform when all these state assemblies, they require 24 state assemblies, pass the laws as well. Then, one can really discuss where we are right now. But don't forget that uh, the last assembly, they got to this point, and nothing actually happened at the end of the day. Just like they got to this point during the war previous to that. We are used to assemblies bringing us well wind of reforms. You, you think this is a, sh a charade or something? Uh, I will not go that a, far. A, a, a I will not say that. Uh, fool me once, shame on me. Fool, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Mm. I will talk about this comprehensively only when those amendments became law. Yeah, uh, Jamie, but you know, at the time when we think the exclusive list has over 60 subject matters uh, that should come for a, a, an overhaul, you are wondering why the National Assembly is precluding state police and restructuring subjects. Even if they include those two critical issues, um, the timeline is so short now that if you look at the processes that they need to pass through before they can mm. effect those amendments, it's almost impossible for this, uh, is it eight it's or ninth. Is ninth. for this ninth assembly to pass it. Now, beginning from today and uh, well, from tomorrow and Wednesday, yeah. they will need to take each of those um, items amendments. Yeah. and um, amendments and start discussing them. Now, after that, they will now pass it to all the states, assembly. the 36 states out of assembly, out of which 24 state mm. houses of assembly must ratify. concur. Yeah. yeah, must ratify. So, and um, with the release of... Uh, the timetable by INEC, it has uh, put all of them on uh, uh, fast track mode now. T tenter hooks. Yeah, because before now they were expecting an August date for the conclusion of party primaries, but now it has been brought forward to June, June 3rd. Mm. And give it to those politicians, they. They are masters of the game. No, no, no. The survivor. They are their own personal survivor. It's more important. Going back to the either red or green chamber is more important that than any amendment they want to pass. Wow. Yeah, I can. I mean, I, I can take a bet on that. Hmm. So that getting back, getting their ticket back, uh, imagine as a candidate, especially given the fact that we have a little over ninety days for the processes of emergence of candidates to, I mean, uh, to be concluded. Mm. I mean, as uh, given the guideline uh, read out by INEC over the weekend, you know that uh, they will give little or no consideration to uh, yeah. constitutional amendment. GKB, but, but let's uh, uh, broach it. Okay. Is our problem constitutional, structural, and or otherwise? Yeah, our problem is basically uh, constitutional. Because those who do not have the ability to perform will always rely on telling us that it's because what the Constitution says, mm. that they are handicapped by the provisions of the Constitution, which in itself is not supposed to be. The Constitution is basically a tool for you to, to lead to development, yeah. not to indict. And we have many examples of governors, especially the 70 other governors, who have already decided that come rain, come weather, they are going to create 
whatever you call it, equivalent of the state police. Mm. And now the genie is out of the bottle. Uh, I play the devil. devil. We are working, I'm talking on the premise that the law has been passed. Mm. All the amendments are gone. Mm. So it's an apothetical situation. Given that reality, nothing can stop the the creation of whatever name you call it. Is this a good Those are come to stay. That's the reality of our reality. And so whether they touch it or not, things are being restructured in such a manner that they cannot help but join the train. But like I said, like Moji said, we are just moving ahead of ourselves. But I'm surprised to hear you say uh, problem is chiefly constitutional. No, I said I, that's I, I, what I, people who do not perform at different levels okay. and their failure on. The, you know, our job is basically to the remove. Constitution they say that I'm not the chief security officer. Yeah, I don't have the police. I don't have. Uh, I don't control my resources. All these are excuses hmm. that can be justified based on the fact that they are constitutional. Now, it doesn't mean that when we change the constitution, they will not look for new, new fresh, fresh limited excuses. Yeah. But for today, that is what they are hanging on to explain the way they, they are, they are failing. They, they say politicians are very good at histrionics, yeah, uh, Majid. But but quickly, let's uh, look at the the executive list. If even if the thing does not come from the governors, don't you think the executive? should feel this weight under 66 items? Yeah. Um, you see, we prioritize um, things that are not important, are not important to us. Um, those two key items, I mean, the, especially the issue of the state police and also mm -hmm. autonomy for uh, the third tier of government than the judiciary as well as the legislative uh, arm are things that should have been given some consideration. And um, especially when you look at the issue of state police, for example, I mean, which is very, very critical. And, and like um, but you can be said. debatable. Yeah. See. It is it debatable? Um, we are having this myriad of insecurity issues in the country because of the kind of, of the structure of the security structure we are running um why is it that D don't you think you have heard that excuse no too, too many times yeah yes yeah, see we we keep citing examples here give a, for for example the university of lagos should have its own police, police security, uh, security system Okay. That understands the nooks and pa crannies pa paid for the by, 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 the university. by the university. Okay. Now, the police, the Nigeria police that we are running today, is being funded by most of the state governments. Anyway, oh. you can. The, the last time the, the, the president came to commission or inaugurate some security. Um, Majid, but but you know that's a, very interesting to hear, see, especially because mo, mo, most of these states can hardly pay the minimum wage. Yeah, but fine. Yeah, they can, some of them can't pay minimum wage, but then it's more more uh, it co it's costlier if you don't maintain security. Mm. I mean, at the end of the day, you spend more money than uh, what we need to do with minimum wage. So there are two different things. It's only when you are secure that you can think of uh, whether you have uh, eaten or not. Mm. Who is talking about minimum wage in uh, Ukraine now? Everybody is uh, 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 taking arms and, and fighting mm. because their lives matter first. So that's yeah. why the issue of security should be taken seriously. New York Police Department, NYPD, they, say, they didn't say it's American police. And in New York, you still have the uh, universities in New York having their own police system. That it, it, it brings this uh, thing and the down. Country, and the county, unlike, and the unlike you being uh, you go and being an abakiari to come and fight uh, 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 kidnappers in uh, Ikorodu, it will force yeah. you uh, two six months. Uh, six, uh, six months to study the terrain. Mm. But if we have a police for Ikorodu division. I mean, they will know where you, the bad boys you, are hiding. You, you are not worried about the concurrent uh, 
judiciary. See, those, those, judiciary. No, those ones. Yes. Yeah. Uh, those, uh, well, uh, for, for the judiciary, I mean, these are checks and balances. Mm. If you give the, uh, the judiciary the autonomy, of course, the, uh, legis uh, the executive um, will still serve as, I mean, we, 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 have, we have auditors. The auditors mm. are from the executive arm. So these are, there are checks and balances. Well, okay. Uh, let that debate continue. But uh, uh, GKB, you know, there's a second leg to the story. Okay. The tragedy in Niger State. Uh, people were at church and then uh, uh, terrorists broke in, uh, abducted the pastor and seven, seven inmates. Yeah. It is, it looks like it's a way of life now. Well, just like uh, the virus hmm. is here to force to stay, we've come to accept that Northern Nigeria will, will have to live with these bandits for as long as they do not have the will to do the needful. The needful being, of course, creating state police. <laughs> and so you see, they are linked. They are not really different. One is a consequence of the lack of the first. And like Majid said, we must understand that police is, is not necessarily a panacea for insecurity. Uh, sometimes security is a deterrent, not an afterthought. Yeah. Because what they look at is that, uh, would that now mean that people will pick on their opponents? Of course, they already pick on their opponents now anyway. So the state police will not change it fundamentally. Because if the party at the center does not agree with the party at the states, they will still have issues. And don't forget, even with the present structure, where governors are supposed to have input into the kind of CPs that they sent. A CP still, remember, less than a year ago, refused to take direct order from the governor in the east when things got out of hand. Because it's very, it sounds very romantic when you are saying it. Mm -hmm. But when the reality is that yeah. a CP will have to obey a governor, he will think twice and say, please, call my boss. And like a popular quote, but, I can, I'm too small to call my boss. Yeah, but, but, you but call him. Imo State is not, it does not seem to help your argument here. No, there, are, there will be instances, mm. but just like any other situation. Yeah. But what we are saying is that on the general scale of general good for our people, it's better for states, local governments, institutions to have their own... If they don't call them police, mm. call them security outfits. Like you said, in the U.S., every borough has its own police, even within the same city. I don't know my, my trouble with your comparing us with Okay, let, 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 we, let, we, let, are, we are not. We don't copy. Are we not? US. Are we not running no, the, 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 the of uh, go government? Are we? Are we? Are we, are, we are, 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 are we run, running a U.S. type democracy? Or yeah, that's what, we are that's what we are told. <laughs> that's what we are told. That's what they sold to us in '79. Okay. That because the uh, the regions were too powerful and too divisive, let's create a federal system. That means that one person will have to go all over the country and then beg for votes and represent everybody. Uh, but we know how, long, how far that has taken us. Yeah. Uh, but, but let me report that a certain uh, gentleman, Fabian, is calling, uh, calling us from Oweri. Okay. Uh, Fabian, good, good evening to you. Hello. Yeah, Fabian, welcome. Hello. Yeah. Fidel Onyeneke. Fidel Onyeneke. Fabian. Oh, Fabian. Welcome, uh, go on, go on. Fidel. Uh, good. I, I want to say that it is, the issue is not state police because even when we have state police or localized the police system, they, it will be abused by politicians. They will take on the advantage of this and cause mayhem, use them as talks. So mm -hmm. that one is ruled out. But I'm worried about the situation where the National Assembly is leaving the men till now and they are now thinking of primaries, primaries. What will it take them to handle this issue of judicial autonomy for local governments and judiciary. These are things that could be done under two or three weeks. Yeah. And I mean that if they are sincere serious, they can do it immediately for the benefit of the local government system and the judiciary. Because anything short of this will cause more problems to this country. Thank you and God bless you. M many thanks. Uh, so we are going back and forth, you know. Yeah. No, no, we are going the same direction. Because sooner uh, or later we will run into a lot of problems that we don't even need to discuss whether we get state police or not. Mm. It will come naturally. Some people just take up the job. They already remember civilian JTF now. Mm. In, even in Bono, you remember vigilantes. You remember even states have what they call the 
vigilante group of Nigeria. The, the Amotekum started like that mm. so, from small so beginnings. Na nature does not like vacuums. It mm. will fill it. So whether we argue about it or not, whether we think it's bad for us or not, sooner or later, if nothing is done about the, the, the direction that we are going, it will fill itself. Jamiu, we, we can't stop talking about Niger State and the terrorist attack. It's uh, quite unfortunate, and that's why we are saying that um, it's like... Um, Th this it's, is the Amotek. Yeah, that's Amotek yeah, yeah, yeah. in, um, in uh, Undo State during the launch by Arakoni, Rotimi, Akredo. So in, yeah. in Niger, the case is um, really bad. Now they are going into uh, churches to uh, abduct um, uh, the, the pastors and, and even the pastor. Hmm. And uh, it's, 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 it's quite worrisome. And when, when these things go unabated, and this is the kind of situation you see, I mean, now they throw all caution to the winds. And if I to get to a point that they will be going into homes to pick people. And you know, the ridic ridiculous things they do these days, they will start from 20 million. At the end of the day, they collect as little as 500,000 Naira. Yeah. I mean, and you discover that it is this kidnapping and banditry is now localized. I mean, this, there are people you, I mean, when they are arrested, you will see that they are actually people from the same locality. But yeah. they, because they know that there, is, there has been no deterrence, nobody is uh, being punished seriously uh, for uh, banditry and uh, uh, kidnapping because we are treating it with a kid gloves. Ma Majid, so we, can, we can rob in the conviction of uh, advance, you know, after a four year uh, yeah, uh, battle. Uh, four years after f uh, uh, four years. Well, I think I'll give kudos to the judiciary uh, for, for that. I mean, he got uh, life, he got a life sentence. Mm, uh, along with two others. Uh, well, along with two others. But I think four years is rather too long. I mean, the guy made uh, confident statements, but at a point, he was trying to change the game uh, when he start uh, when he started hearing uh, things uh, about uh, Abakiari too. So he, he wanted to also <laughs> play uh, some game that is also a victim. But I think kudos to the judiciary, although yeah. it could have uh, come uh, uh, judgments like this should come uh, uh, rather faster. Yeah, uh, four years, yeah. but better late than never. Um, it's, it's it's a good one. Uh, and and so it's in sync with this talk about freedom of autonomy for the judiciary GKB. Yeah. The, the judiciary has been autonomous, if you ask me. From the day of our independence. Yes. Yeah, they've always been here. But what we are saying is the fact that let them control their own finances. That is it. Financial, financial autonomy. Mm -hmm. Let them be in charge okay. of whatever yeah. they spend. That, so how different will that, what difference will that make to, to the scenario? Yes. Yeah, so that means the man in, in charge of judiciary can now deliver judgment without fear or favor. Okay. Basically. It means that they are independent of the executive in such a manner that they cannot be influenced directly. They are indirect influence. Nobody can remove that. But you cannot stop their salary or stop their their population and and uh, all that. Yeah. You know, because you don't agree with their the, direction. This insecurity thing, you know, um, uh, it's becoming a way of life. And so you are asking, she not like this we go the day? No, well, you keep telling people that sooner or later something will have to give. Because you say Yoruba, something must happen to stem this tide because we cannot keep on like this. Mm -hmm. People will still assume that, well, uh, people pay and they move on with their lives. But they are creating a parallel government. And I keep telling people, the number one responsibility of government is security. security. That's the only job you have. Yeah. It's the number one. And, because and people are not secure. They cannot pay taxes. They cannot pay housing. You cannot enjoy anything you provide. All right. We are joined by Rotimi here in Lagos. Rotimi, good evening to you. Good evening, Susan Jones and, your, and the guest there. Uh, oh, yeah. They greet uh, you. Uh, on the ongoing constant amendments, it should be a disservice to Nigeria if the United Assembly refuse to implement state and community policing, which we had in the First Republic. The, to, today, the Nigerian police has less than 400,000 uh, men and officers, and we, we expect 400,000 uh, people to police a, a Nigerian state of 
over 250 oh, million. We are be joking. The ninth Niger Assembly will be will be doing Nigeria a great disservice because today most of the streets are on police. That's why I look at the marvelous job that Ma Amata Kunko is doing in Ondo Osho and uh, Ogun State. Mm. We must have state police. Again, on lastly, on on the clamor for local government autonomy. It, it is a fault that, that was perpetrated in 1976 by our passenger. There's nothing like state, uh, local government autonomy. Look, Lagos is the most populated and the key Lagos that are twenty local government cannot have 44 local governments. Igawa used to be part of Lagos. Today they split them into two. Igawa has about 30 local government and Lagos has just 20. Cannot have 44. What kind of mean are we running? Those po problems, politics. The, the, the local thank, government thank must you. return to the state. Th <laughs> thank you, Rutimi. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so it, we still will be crying. They say that there's no need to cry where after the head is off. Mr. President had put paid to this topic of state police. If you um, I, I think Rotimi is trying to mix local government autonomy with local government creation. Um, I, I think there's something there's a semblance of um, autonomy for local governments in Lagos in terms of administration, finances, and what have you. Lagos is running a probably semi or almost an autonomous local government system. Well, you see a local government in Lagos, I mean, executing projects worth five, 10 billion mm. in Lagos. I mean, uh, without recourse to, without recourse the, the, center. to the center, yes. Mm. I mean, and I, I think other states to Come and learn how Lagos is doing that. I mean, um, that is happening in Lagos. All right, folks, uh, let's go to our next story. You know, the 15th International Conference, is it 15th now? Uh, Conference on Energy Production and Management aims at discussing the future of energy production and management in a changing world. Uh, here this early arrivals in Abuja on Sunday ahead of the summit were shocked at long chaotic queues of vehicles at petrol stations as fuel scarcity bites harder in various parts of the country. The scarcity preceded by the importation of unwholesome premium motor spirit PMS is nearly four weeks old and is anomalous for a country hosting an all-important energy summit. There's a need for a permanent solution to Nigeria's energy crisis because it's affecting local economy. The five-day summit has as its theme, empowering energy transition. Uh, Majid. I just came back from Abuja on um, Saturday. I've been in Abuja. You came, came back by road, by air? No, of course, by, by sea. Air. <laughs> <laughs> by, I went to Abuja on uh, Wednesday and came back on Saturday and uh, I, just, I concluded that um, the fuel queues we have in uh, Lagos are still, still, in, are, still in primary school. are still in kindergarten. Oh really? Yes. The ones in Abuja, the, the fuel queues the in Abuja, capital. they are in PhD thesis level. Oof. Yeah. Uh, you see, I mean I'm, now I'm not exaggerating, you see queues as long as three, four kilometers. Yes, and, and, uh, and you know Abu Dhabi don't seem to be uh, about to abate. It's, it's not like, if, it's, if, if it has not abated in Lagos, huh. then, I mean, you can, you know, the moment it abates in Lagos, then you give Abuja another two weeks because 80% of all the fuel in Nigeria is, is from Lagos. Right, they, even, they load from Lagos to up north. Uh, up north. Up. Mm. Uh, I mean, only very few uh, 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 ones come from uh, Port Harcourt and uh, 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 and the and the Niger Delta uh, area. So what? most uh, ninety percent of the fuel we consume are still imported. So it is a choice. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> now, at a point, at, at a time, we are supposed to be gaining from increasing uh, crude oil prices we are suffering now we are spending 250 billion per month on subsidy and it's it's not getting any better because as long as the crisis in ukraine and um, 
Russia, Russia continues. I mean, at a point, crude oil prices went as high as 107 over the weekend. I think it's not to forget gas and and gas uh, from uh, 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 Russia that we yeah. and you know all this though we have our own crude oil but it's it's been the the, the pricing is and flaring our gas and we are flaring our gas so Don't it is like. it is an irony that at a point we should be boosting our external reserve and even growing our excess crude account we are using most of this. Uh, uh, sums to uh, do uh, uh. now worst case scenario NMPC returned zero contribution to the federation account yes, you see what uh, you said yeah the man is busy sleeping yeah for the for the month of February mm. and they have also given a hint that next month March they don't have anything to contribute despite the fact that they are the ones managing um, our crude oil says and our budget is benchmarked at $58 per barrel. And since the beginning of the year, I think the minimum we've had is about $80 a barrel. This is a time we should be seeing an increment in our external reserves and even excess crude account, which I think has been depleted, I mean, mm -hmm. long ago. So that is the crisis we find ourselves in. I mean, now you have to find a way of getting friendly with fuel attendants now because they are the new big boys in town. Yeah. If you don't know them, you have to go and I mean, if you don't know one, you have to go and uh, sleep at the at the free, uh, at the fuel ask station. Ask some of us what we, how we deal with petrol shortage, uh, JKB. Well, so it's if unfortunate. We, we have the international energy conference here, and then the visitors are saying we are welcoming them with this. At least, yeah. and at least we are showing them the reality that we go through. Because mm. in the years past, remember a president I will not mention. I will just be cleared of cars right now. Mm. He will simply make sure whatever you can get, you forget it. I don't want to see any queue in Abuja. The queue can return after five days. Mm. Well, this is... Yeah, you are right. I just don't think that will be here right now. I feel so bad. Because I assume that with the promise the broader administration made, it's not you know their sixth year or seventh year that we should be having four queues. Because all of the fundamental promises that they've kept for a long time, until recently, were that we always get supply of uh, petroleum products in our petrol stations. And we thought this is just a blip, something that will last a few days. But from the reports we are getting and the fillers, it seems that we are in it for a long haul. And that told me it's not something that and one is happy I, about. I, I don't know if it is deliberate or if it's a, a peculiar act. We, we, we should have seen these things coming, uh, uh, Majid. The unfortunate thing is that nobody is telling us the truth. Yeah. Mm. Nobody is telling us the truth. So if, if people imported bad fuel into the country, who is responsible? So who is responsible? Mm. I mean, should, we have the should the people responsible not take the rap? Yeah, has anybody, is, has is anybody been punished? You see situations where Toyota, uh, BMW, if there is a defect in, a, in, in one of their functional systems, maybe brake system or, or what have you, even if it is 200,000 vehicles, they will recall all the vehicles. Yeah. Now, they told us that uh, it's, it was bad fuel they imported, uh, it has high hydrocarbon okay. level, uh, high octane, uh, they were speaking some kinds of dra uh, drama. At the end of the day, they, they, I mean, they concluded that you, you, they will, you, they will you could have done the same. <laughs> they will use, they will use <laughs> 250 billion to blend, I mean, whatever that means. I mean, so who brought in this? Foul toxic fuel, this toxic fuel. fuel into the country. A lot of vehicles and a particular ship damaged. We are told a particular, a particular ship ve was vessel, yeah, brought this consignment. Was uh, uh, the ship we are told was asked to uh, fourteen so, years ago not to come back? But yes, it's still, it still here. So and nobody has been punished. Amelie Kiari told us uh, uh, two weeks ago that by February ending, I mean. Uh, the 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 queues the will have uh, vanished. Today is February twenty eighth. I mean, maybe somebody needs to remind him 
if he's if he if he, if he has not shared his calendar and this month is not going to uh, run beyond 28 so it's not yeah. going to be 29 it's not, it's not a so tomorrow will be march hmm. so we i mean and with what i saw in abuja on saturday i mean there is no likelihood that it would abate in the next two weeks and with what i saw in lagos i mean this morning too it is a very very bad i mean uh, situation and it's a good way to welcome uh, our guests uh, for the, uh, the energy uh, for the energy uh, summit and uh, uh, gkb many countries are thinking of going electrical you know you know yeah the future uh, running is cars in, and so on in, uh, clean, and the, clean ener energy. The, the energy conference is supposed to address things like yeah, that it's basically meant to look into the future mm. basically that we are going for clean energy and its effect on economies all over the world uh, but like what you said we are in the cash 22 really we make more money but we also spend more money to buy fuel that turns out to be bad as since nobody is very responsible we we'll we'll business as usual and but, I, I, but there, I, there's, there's no indication anybody would no, be no, no, no 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 it's been four weeks in uh, in countries that are serious about things like this i'm sure someone they will have found the script goods by now somebody to resign somebody to be sacked somebody to be arrested visually put it down oh, yeah something to, to just make people relax they are, they are just, yeah, but, but, but are you as serve. bothered as i am about this untouchable this regime of big boys on the, the impurity is beyond belief especially mm. when it comes to the economy you see people tell you to your face that nothing will happen and, and ultimately and nothing they are happen. always almost always right and because there is we i thought that we have a change of pace uh, in the last six years but it's been business as usual mm. and it shows that uh, like somebody said i don't want to mention names that if people uh, people from heaven should come to Nigeria with a special status. Mm. They would still not be able to solve the problem <laughs> that we have. All right. Uh, we have Odafe reaching us from Port Harcourt. He is in River State, Nigeria. Odafe, welcome. Yeah. Good evening, John is Hangar. Yeah, welcome. Uh, look, uh, I want to thank uh, both of you for your contribution. But there is something I want to uh, suggest that we should do on the Hangar. There are some issues that we know cannot change in Nigeria. Just like saying punishing the corporate. You know they don't the Nigeria you don't you don't do punishment. They only reward the bad people. They will even get more contracts. So I will say that we will shine more energy on what we help the market. Because even what you are saying now, they will hear they will not listen. Unless I don't think that your ear is even open to you, they will just be laughing. They will still do the same thing tomorrow again. That is the kind of country we find out. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's it, but you know our business is to talk the way we, the we talk, of the we have we we that's our major weapon. You know, we say it as it is. But but thank you for your for your. Uh, we simply cannot give up. We just assume that one day, uh, the one yeah. day, there will be a father who does not know Joseph. All right. So again, the debate must continue uh, with whether or not we must remain this way. Okay. We wish. The conference on energy, all the good luck they need. To our next story, you know, the autonomy of local governments in our country needn't be a subject for debate in 2022. The 1999 Constitution, as amended, has made this a cardinal structure of our democracy. But when organized labor weighs in on this underpinning democratic requirement, then we take heed. The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, has thrown its weight behind the push for full autonomy for local governments in our country. A mobilization of workers for public advocacy held at the National Assembly earlier in the, in the day in the capital, Abuja. NLC President Ayuba Waba gave the notice to news organizations to this effect. This intervention is sequel to the Constitution Amendment holding at the National Assembly. Jamie, would the people take heed? But Let's share the story with you. Uh, uh, hold on for that. Take this. Tomorrow, we'll go inside the nation arrest because the leaders will have to come under prison. The advocacy for local government autonomy has been on for years. In the last political dispensation, the Eighth National Assembly passed the bill, but the proposed amendment failed to muster the required two-thirds vote of the 36 state houses of assembly. 
and so organized labor returned to the drawing board. In the last four years, it has intensified its advocacy on the policy. Your voter's card and your protest card must be held very sacrosanct. The two will actually give us liberty. The two will actually give us good governance. And the two will make us to hold our politicians accountable. From its headquarters in the central area of the nation's capital, NLC marches through the streets and arrives at the National Assembly gate. Solidarity forever. As federal lawmakers get ready to vote on the latest run of amendments to the Constitution, NLC and its affiliate unions say there is need to demand complete support from them on this piece of legislation. The autonomy for judiciary, autonomy for the local government system, and autonomy for the legislature. Workers expect 100% vote on these three issues. We have the opinion that every House of Assembly member who answered their name, once we finish with passage of local government autonomy bill at the National Assembly, the train moved to all the states, we also move to all the local government. Autonomy of the legislature, the judiciary, and the local government is paramount. We want our legislators to think very firmly over this and give the powers to these institutions to do their work. The Nigeria Labour Congress says this rally is an attempt to save Nigeria from total decay. It is returning in another 24 hours for what it calls the mother of all rallies when the lawmakers vote for 68 proposed amendments to the 1999 constitution as amended. Jokai Adisa, TVC News, Abuja. Yeah, uh, Majid, the, the Aluta community has gone to the National Assembly. But local government autonomy goes without saying. Yeah, this mm. din, this noise about making local governments autonomous is something sometimes incongruous to us, sounds incongruous. If we have a very responsive um, system of governance uh, where the indiv individuals really understand what it takes. The local government's administration is the closest to the grassroots. And that's um, the ones that should be given that free hand to do that which the con communities really want. But the governors will argue that if you give them that autonomy, they will misuse it. They will be uncontrollable. Just yeah. like just like the state police. <laughs> so, I, I don't want us to do that. But <laughs> so, so, so now, but now they are not just talking uh, about are, are you persuaded on that? No. No, 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 I'm not. Uh -huh. I mean, because, because this, like I always say, there are checks and balances. Yeah. So if a local government administrator fails to perform, I mean, uh, for... Uh, a three or four year tenor is thrown out and is is made answerable. I mean, there are uh, the, we have the SCPC, we have the the courts, we have the audit department, mm. we have the EFCC. So those who run foul of the law has all these um, agencies to deal with them. So mm. we have the code of conduct bureau that will take. I mean, they still work, although in, uh, in some instances they go beyond their briefs or mm. they go wish hunting. But then I believe autonomy for the local government is something that should be granted. Oh, yeah. Just um, the way it's been done we, it, in Lagos, like I said earlier. Oh, okay, we don't need to debate that. Mm. Um, uh, GKB, but for instance, you declare assets from local government up to the presidency. Yeah. You know, um, you talk about kick and follow in soccer. Yeah. Uh, you kick the ball, we hardly follow. All of us who follow. Mm. Nobody follows. Uh, you have to look at our history to really understand what's going on. Because when we started this in 99, the then President Obama Sanjo, in his wisdom, decided that local government uh, chairman should be encouraged not to put their hands in the till by paying them good money by those days standards. That means that today some local government chairmen earn more than professors. I have nothing against that. But during the course of the last 20 years, governors have decided for their own political in, in their wisdom. No, for their own political survival. Okay. To <laughs> sub, 
to subsume the local government administration under their will. So what we have now is a facade, basically. It looks good in the fronts, mm. but if you go deep down, because you know some in some states, governors will select uh, projects and ask them to pay for it. It's not their own, it's not the priority of the local government, mm -hmm. but it's the priority of the governor that uh, you must do these four, five, six but, routes. But, but do you know as we speak, there are many, some states where you, you, don't, you have not had local government elections for a while. And that's where I come because you got to a point that people realized that the local government elections are basically a selection process. Mm. So it pays the local government chairman, whoever emerges, to throw the line of the governor. Because remember, in, uh, I'm sure Majid will know this, in the Ekiti, I think it's the local government chairman of Ado Ekiti that was the brave man that confronted the governor. And something happened to him. Which, of the, which of the governors? I think it's Fire Okay. As in, I think the first time, the first time he came. Yeah. And then they yeah. had the Jews. That, Fashu, that was Fashu, the last time. Fashuba. Yeah. So that uh, Fashuba. local government chairman had the nerve so to he, confront he, the system. The man wanted his autonomy. Yeah. Allow me, let uh, me run my yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. The governor said no. And the governor, of course, resides under him in Adokit. He's his landlord. Uh, so they had uh, issues, which was very funny at that time. But since that, how have you seen a local government chairman stand up like that young man did as of that time? No, GKB, you know what? The governors know when to give the autonomy to those local government chairmen. Recall the case of Kanu when they wanted to remove uh, uh, Sanusi Ladimu. It was the local government. That was asked to do it. That was asked to give, uh, give him the, the job. Yeah, go, was it. the job to do so. There was a time in this Lagos, <laughs> in this Lagos that we are in, I'm sure you know, the collecting of, uh, collection of refuse. Mm -hmm was the function of the local government. Yes. There's something called TV radio tax. Mm -hmm. That was basically an income yeah. of the local, yeah, government. local government. That to patch roads is the job of the local government. Can we say that in our society today? That no we are still performing those tasks. That were given as fundamental reasons why they were created in the first place. So while like I said it's a facade, it looks good from outside. But we and I know that underneath you will place the piper. That's it. They they say a lot of water has gone under the bridge yeah. without touching the bridge. Mm. That's why uh, they uh, said uh, a, a, what do you call it, iceberg. Mm. You only see the small size. The really big part is, is under. under the water. Okay, Ololade is reaching us from Ilorin, Ilorin Kwara State. Ololade, I greet you. Good evening. Well, good afternoon. How are you? Yeah. Uh, uh, you see, autonomy of local government is very important. Although, when the, when the autonomy is not given to them, you can see the problem that we are having now. Let's look at uh, the base of native authority. How effective they are in the area of security. Even in the area of health, the sanitary effect of holding this were very yeah. powerful. The only, only and people are always afraid of them. So look at the pandemic, some diseases that we are talking of. We should not be talking of cholera at this stage. But because they have people the local government. So, and uh, whatever goes to the federal comes from the local. That's the mistake those who are killing the local government are doing. And particularly it's the state government that are killing the local government. And so what is the whole matter? The local government election is being organized oh. by the state again. Oh, Olala so many thanks. Many thanks. We, we can't stop... Uh, Majid, we cannot stop talking about autonomy for the local government and for the judiciary, just as the executive needs its autonomy and so on. Yeah, um, I think uh, especially the judiciary too, judiciary, the local government, and the legislative arms of government. I mean, they should be granted their autonomy without any uh, fringe or hindrance. Uh, I think it will be better, it will, it will further it, deepen it, our democracy. You mean the governor has the power to remove a local government chairman? Uh, yeah, you can remove him through the House of Assembly. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that will be all for, for today, but let's thank you very kindly for being a part of it. And many more thanks to G.K. Balogu. Thank you. Always and of pleasure. course, uh, Majid Jamiu. Many thanks. Thank the you very much. The boys, led by the producer director, will say thank you as well. We are out of here, but then... The program returns tomorrow. If you missed this edition, join us at 11 tonight for a late edition. And on Sunday, 1.30 to 3.30 brings you...
and expanded to our show on the Journalist Hangout show. Uh, we're on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Citizen Jones Usain. Bye-bye now.